air gapping uh, Onan clutch. And this would go for anything, any machine from a 140 to a 317, 316, any of the machines that have the the clutch, dry clutch type setup, the electromagnetic clutch, uh, some of the later 200 series, a um, bunch of machines have this type of clutch. What you will need is, what I prefer, is you'll need a set of feeler gauges. I really like the angled ones because unlike uh, you don't have to have the, the engine out of the machine to do this. In this particular case, I just got done replacing the oil pan. And so since I have access to the clutch and it's good and it's bright, uh, might, might as well do a video. But what you'll need is you'll need a set of filler gauges. And most time you will need a wrench or a socket, either one, uh, depending on how it fits, with a 9 16th inch socket or 9 16th inch wrench with a ratchet. Okay? That's what you will need. To explain how these work, you have your electromagnetic coil that is attached to the engine. You have your clutch in there and then you have your rotor. What happens is when this is magnetized, this rotor right here, this rotor attaches to this uh, clutch disc through the, see if you can see those springs in there. And when it attaches, it just pulls it in and that's what engages, basic magnetizes, and that's what engages this to turn. What will happen, what will often happen is there's three little areas around here. One, there's another one right here, and then there's one over on this side over here. There's three areas, there's three bolts, and that's how you adjust the air gap. The air gap is the gap in between the rotor and the disc itself. And who knows, I may have all these parts wrong, but this is what I've always called them. On some of the 140s, you, will, you would need a .015 feeler gauge. Meanwhile, on the Onans, you'll need a .018 feeler gauge. Now what you do is you take your feeler gauge, and I'll show you this, sorry for moving the camera, and you put your feeler gauge in there. I can't get the feeler gauge in there. I'm gonna try it on this one. Really tight, all right? Now, one of the things that I just realized is because this is upside down, I am not sure, I, I'm actually gonna take and put it around flat uh, after I show you the parts. And uh, I'm gonna put it down flat to see if that affects anything. I don't think it is, but we'll see. So just again to show you the air gap and the clutch, this disc right here is attached to the rotor. This is the face of the clutch or the face of the rotor, depending on how that little, the, the demarcation line in there between the black and the silver, that's where your air gap should be. There are three of these little access ports. They're located right next to the adjustment nuts right here. So you have one, two, and then over on the other side, you have your third one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this engine over on its, uh, put it back on its oil pan where it is correct. And we're going to see if these springs provide enough tension to push it out. All right, so there was no real change in the position of the clutch, which is good. That means I could have done it the other way. But now that it's back down like this, we're going to test that air gap again just to make sure as soon as I can... Oh, I, I was looking through fuel gauges and they were my hand. So this is the top right here. We're going to take our 0.018 feeler gauge. We stick in there. It goes in, but it's kind of tight. We're going to go to this bottom one. Still can't get it in there. And this one over here on the side. It's actually pretty loose. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our 9 16 cent socket with our ratchet here and we're actually going to back all these nuts off quite a bit. That way we're going to have a fresh start. And then we're just going to go around and around this clutch until we get 0.018 between the clutch disc and the rotor every single time. So starting down here at the bottom, take my feeler gauge, run it around, 
and we're just gonna I'm just gonna keep doing this until I can't move it anymore that is tight right there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and back it off again I'm gonna see if I can set the camera up a little bit better so you can kind of see in why I do this top one here. So hopefully you can see that. Now there is a big gap right in here. You can see this clutch is turning freely. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna tighten that up Okay, so there's approximately 0 0.018. Now I'm gonna do this to the bottom. Oops, going the wrong way. Okay. Now the far side. And then if once the far side's adjusted, we're gonna come back up here to the top and test this, which it's now a little loose. And then the bottom one again. This bottom one can be an absolute pain to do in the machine. Okay. So, all three of those are good. I'm going to go around one more time and check. I think this top one's a little tight again. I'm just gonna briefly, not much at all. Yeah, that's better. Go around one more time. Okay. So that is how you air gap a clutch. Now the reason that you would need to air gap it is that over time there's a chance that uh, that the air gap can expand. These nuts can loosen up over time. As they do that, the air gap gets too far away for the clutch to engage. If you have a machine that sometimes you have to uh, move forward or something, you know, jar the machine or it'll occasionally just kick off. That's because your your air gap is too great and the magnet can't the electromagnetic coil can't suck in this uh, clutch disc onto the rotor. Um, or if it's just, uh, uh, you're just driving along and it's making this terrible screeching sound, most likely it is because your, uh, your clutch disc is on your rotor and it's just scraping it and you're just wearing out your rotor or wearing out your, your PTO components. Um, and another reason that it could be making some noise is occasionally these bearings do go bad um, I know that on the 322 over here, I've got to replace the bearing in that clutch here pretty quick because it sounds absolutely...